Whether you're looking to go biking, kayaking, golfing, wine tasting, or just hitting up some different breweries, this toy hauler right here can do it all. Let's get into it. The main living area and kitchen features four theater seats, brand new Klipsch sound system, incredible kitchen, and probably the coolest bar stools I've ever seen. Right away, you will see the big TV here, so that way you can watch it no matter what seat you're sitting in. But more importantly, or more impressive to me, is the new sound system. Now, we tried to play this earlier. It doesn't really come through on video, unfortunately, but I'm telling you, this is far and above the best sound system I've heard in any RV. You have the clip system inside plus outside. Not only do you have the sound bar, but you'll have a 10 inch subwoofer. Again, one inside and one outside. If you're into sound, if you're an audiophile, this is gonna be the closest thing you're gonna get to happiness in an RV. Right down underneath, you will see the fireplace, of course, that uh, not only looks nice, but is also going to be a big space heater. Let's hit the kitchen real quick and then I have to show you the coolest bar stools ever. I'll show you in a little bit here, but uh, I wanted to kind of point out this, uh, this center island. You have like the raised bar top, true solid surface, really cool design up front. It's like 3D, I really like that. And then kind of on this backside, if you notice, pull this out, you have two trash cans, which is fantastic because, you know, two is better than one. You will also see the uh, cutting board right up top here. And not only that, but you have four full extension ball bearing drawers. You also have a paper towel holder right here and an additional drawer. Uh, one thing I do love about this is that it is dovetail construction. I wish I could have said the same about the drawers, but hey, I'll take one over none. That is a solid drawer. If you're looking to put some heavier duty things in it, that is the drawer you want. This is just great uh, prep space or I don't know, hanging out space, can lean here, right? Have a drink of wine. Whatever you want to do, the world's your oyster. Pull out pantry is new this year too. There's actually a little foot flush, or a foot flush, foot lever, used to toilets. We're going to push that down and pull this open. You can see that big pull out pantry. That is massive, massive additional storage. A uh, great way to be able to tuck all that storage away. My opinion, that's a pretty darn good use of space. Some storage up top there, microwave, four burner cooktop in this one. Love when they get the four burner rather than the three, because I also know along with that, you're getting a massive oven. So if you're one that likes to bake, you will be happy in here as well. Run it over a little bit further, we get into the 20 cubic foot fridge freezer. Now this particular one, is going to be 12 volt. But that being said, if you want residential, you can get residential as well. The option is yours. Right up top is a spot for wine. I'd have that filled, but uh, yeah, maybe not actually. Who am I kidding? I'll be pulling them down. Uh, and then over to this side, you can see more storage, magnetic catches on there. Down underneath, again, solid surface countertops. You have the stainless steel apron front sink. Kind of have this knurled looking faucet, the two-tone on there, something a little bit different. I haven't seen that before. Uh, bank of drawers down here, more storage underneath. You also have a central vac system tied into the uh, side of the island. But the coolest thing about uh, this entire kitchen space right here is this right here. There's a little door on the side. The reason for that is because you can actually pull this out, bring it right over here, and voila, I now have a bar stool. There's three of them that are built in here. I I'm sorry, this like blew my mind. This is probably one of the coolest designs I've seen in, our in an RV in a really long time. Now, because this is a toy hauler, we obviously have to talk about the garage. But before I do, I want to talk about the ramp slash party deck. So first of all, this is the first electric ramp in the industry. It takes less than 15 seconds to go down or come back up. Second, as a party deck, you have an amazing rail system, a ladder to be able to climb up onto the party deck, and you're going to have the three season doors. But you can have screens, you can have glass, they can both swing open just like they are now. That will bring you into the 11 foot garage where as soon as you enter you can see the storage there in the beaver tail and they have upgraded your tie downs you can see you have several points now so it just gives you some more customization when you are looking to tie things down now these are still frame welded so they're going to be just as strong as what they've had in the past in raptor 
both sides you will have uh, some sofas so these are going to be rollover those will both roll over into a bed you'll see the middle drops down like so for an armrest and then up top is the happy jack bed system so you can sleep four people back here because remember a lot of people don't get a toy hauler for toys. They get it for the sleeping space, for the storage. If you need to bring bikes with you, kayaks, things like that, this gives you the ability to bring so much more. You'll also see the windows and how open they are. A couple of cool things I really like about these. One, that the shade itself is built into the frame and around that is a nice wood frame so it's a clean look. Also, on the back side of the shade, it's reflective so it, it essentially reflects the heat back out keeping it not just cooler in the garage, but the main living area as well. Another big change that they made that I really like is the bunk. Rather than being on the living side, they put it in the garage because the last thing in the world you want is a kiddo to be sleeping in the bunk, staring out of the living room, listening to your conversations. At least that's not what I want. So stuff them back here, let them sleep with their brothers and sisters. That's the way to do it. You also see a TV right up top here, as well as some additional storage. And of course, you have another AC in here to keep things nice and cool, as well as some speakers. And if the kiddos get up in the middle of the night or the guests or whoever it may be and needs to use the bathroom, room you have a half bath right off to the side the other thing i want to mention if you notice is how high this comes up to help protect the sidewall so again if you do have anything like a golf cart or something you're putting in here you're not going to beat up your walls the bathroom features a large vanity with enough storage for a trash can decorative mirror one piece shower and a tankless water heater so one of the coolest things about this bathroom right here is this amazing decorative mirror. I really like it. I think it just really helps set the space apart and it blends in seamlessly with the faucet here. You can see the big vanity space. I mean, at least for a bathroom, right? Like you have some good storage right there. Plus you have drawers, but my favorite part of the whole thing is the fact there's enough room for a trash can under the sink because, you know, I don't want my Q-tips and stuff uh, just hanging out. I have to have a place to put them. I need a trash can in the bathroom. You will see that uh, the toilet, I have great leg space, plenty of room for my shoulders. It is a porcelain bowl, so it's easy to clean. And over to the side, this is new, kind of cool. You have pull-out linen closet. So you get this huge storage here, super easy to get into. And as I step into the shower, you can see it's six foot tall. I have more than enough room, especially with this guy, like probably six, two, six, three. Now, the shower is one piece, which means your shower pan is going to be one piece with the wall. So there's less chance of any kind of leaks. It does have a clear glass shower door, which isn't necessarily my favorite. Just gets a little bit harder to keep clean, but it does probably look the best when it's clean. But it also has what I like to call the shower tower of power, which has your shower head, the hand wand, and two body sprays built into one. And the best part about it is you can enjoy every minute of this because you have an on-demand water heater for essentially limitless hot water. The bedroom features a king bed with a backlit headboard, large wardrobe, and wash and dryer prep. How are you going to have a big fifth wheel without a king bed? You can't. And they know it here at Raptor, which is why they give you one. Now, this is in a slide out. There is going to be storage underneath, so you don't have to worry about that. You can see your central vac there as well as a foldable table that you can put in front of the theater seats. But something that I really like a little bit different is the backlit headboard. I think it's just a, a nice extra little piece there. Uh, both windows, or rather both sides of the slide have windows, and both of those windows open. Now up front is the wardrobe. You have a hanging rod shelf up here. You know, pretty standard um, uh, front wardrobe. And then over to the side is going to be the washer dryer prep. Now, of course, not everyone gets washer dryer. In fact, the majority of people don't, in which case you get even more hanging storage. A couple other things I want to touch on. One is actually going to be the AC system. You do have a second AC uh, here in the bedroom. And uh, my videographer, Aaron, can attest, it's nice and cool. It's nice and cool in here. This thing was cranking and it feels great. Uh, part of that too is because the Blade AC system has 360 degree cooling. It's a fantastic system. Beyond that, it, this is something you can't see. Not to get too in depth, but if you take a look, if we were able to peel this skin back and look at the duct work, where the two ducts come together, it actually has a coupler, so it stays together, and then they tape that coupler. Pretty much every other manufacturer out there just butts the two ends together and tapes it and hope it stays. And that's not going to happen because eventually it will come apart. And then you have a big leak and half your AC is in your ceiling, which is not something you want, which is why you want the blade AC system. Here at the foot of the bed is a TV. So if you want to watch a movie before bed window, of course, right underneath that. And then you have your dresser with some hidden storage. 
All right, let's take a look at some of the outside features of the 2025 Keystone Raptor 352. Starting off on the brand new, updated, hyper aggressive front cap here. Has like a nose right in the center. If you can see, if you kind of uh, take a look, you can see like the diffused orange lights in there too. They actually look really sharp. I think they did a great job. Uh, a lot of angles in that front cap, I really think helped set it apart and just look better than what it has in the past. Dropping down, you'll see the pivoting head on the King pin to help prevent some of that jerking feeling while you're going down the road and if we take a look at this holy smokes does this thing have a ton of garage storage it's like over a hundred square foot of storage in here uh which is which is massive right um you will also see right here is a 30 amp charge controller for the solar this one comes standard with uh protect 220 but you can certainly upgrade that if you want more solar you'll also see it has a solar disconnect so that you don't have to have the solar panels on, so it's not constantly you know, kicking everything on and off. You'll also see the pure sine wave inverter here. Now, uh, depending on what you get, if you get the residential refrigerator, that comes with it. Otherwise, if you upgrade, you can have that added, so that way your, some of your electrical outlets can, ha uh, can be inverted as well, because a lot of them, they'll think there are seven of them that are already pre-wired. You can also see uh, right down here is the battery disconnect for everything, basically. This is a TPMS. That's right, that's the brain box for it, for the in-command system. This one does have TPMS on there. This right here is top-down access to the same compartment I have here, which is the front access, and that's going to be for your batteries, uh, hydraulic fluid, and hydraulic pump. Your generator will be located right down here, and you can see that you get the 5500i to be able to power everything inside. You'll also see the auto level, right? If you're gonna have hydraulic, you might as well have hydraulic auto level, hydraulic slides, and that's what this one has. Now, for 2025, Raptor has made some things standard that probably should have been standard before, but they have included it this year, like your observation cameras. Not just the rear observation camera, but side observation cameras as well. Of course, right in here is going to be one of our two 30-pound propane tanks. And again, you can see just how massive that uh, that pass-through garage storage is. Now, if you remember inside, I talked about this being one of, it, it, not one of, it is the best sound system I have heard in an RV to date. And this proves it. They have an amp in here for that, uh, for that sound and, and to get some of those deep bass notes. And I'm telling you, if you're one that likes uh, some good music, you will appreciate this. You also have the brain box for the in-command system. That's what controls everything inside. Uh, the control panel is in there, but the nice thing about that is it has redundancy. So if for whatever reason that is not working, you can use this brain box out here and it will have manual switches. Down underneath is a propane quick connect. So if you need to hook up a grill or anything, you know, you have a Blackstone Coleman, you can fire it up and be grill master outside up top are going to be awnings. There are three awnings on this thing. Cool thing about it is they're all going to be Gerard armless awnings. Technically they have arms, but they're horizontal, not vertical, so they're not gonna be in your way. Um, even though that high, I don't know what they would be anyway, but regardless, those are going to be really nice awnings. Gerard uh, uh, armless awnings, again, probably some of the best in the industry currently. Um, these are your clip speakers. So not only do you have a 10 inch subwoofer, you get two seven inch speakers out here for your mid range and highs. And then another large TV. So if you wanna sit out here and uh, be able to watch TV, you can. And again, they have added TVs to a lot of their floor plans for 2025. Um, one of the things I do wanna point out, if we drop down, can take a look at the tires and wheels here. So yes, you have aluminum wheels, so that way it's going to be corrosion resistant. These are 21575s, 17 and a half inch tires. And not only are these shiny as can be, but on top of that, these are going to be H load range tires. That is phenomenal. If you're looking for you know, something with a toy hauler, you're gonna be hauling just a ton of weight. You want that added load range. The stairs are gonna be a little bit different too. You can see these fold, uh, the steps themselves fold down. This is fantastic, especially when we talk about the one in the back because it's not gonna take up nearly as much room when you go to store it away. This secondary door right here, of course, is the one that goes right into our garage and you can see how wide the door is. So if you're loading in like a bunch of big bins, this gives you the ability to take them in and out a heck of a lot easier. And again, you can see that third awning right here in the back. Air compressor is now standard on a Raptor and it is right here on the campsite, so it's that much easier to access. 
And as we take our way back just a little bit further here, you can see the ramp. This is the control for the electronic part of it. There is a safety switch right here. So as soon as the ramp gets to here, it actually stops. That way, if you know, you're know uh, you trying to like adjust cables or anything, or there's a finger in here, it's not gonna smash your hand. You just push it in the rest of the way and lock it in place. If you're looking for a luxury toy hauler, no matter what activity it is, and you want one with, I don't know, some of the newest innovations, best sound system, and amazing build quality there is in the industry, then this Raptor 352 is one you want to check out. Thanks for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and until next time, we'll see you. <laughs>